bottom, I wore completely the wrong kind of clothes. I was bullied by a lot of people at school. And I was bullied because I was different. And they took a dislike to the way I lived my life. They disliked what I wore, the kind of likes I liked, the music. Now, I had a group of friends, they're all, mostly all girls, and compound the bullies, they said, to do certain things, like, listen to music, like take that. Listen to Peter Andre. They were always never a fan of Peter Andre. I'll take that, so that wasn't going to happen. So these things suggested change your hairstyle, wear a scar, do your fitting, and for God's sake, can't stop wearing T-shirts with me on printed on them. Now, I think it was probably easy. It was easy to do that. I could, I could have changed very easily. I was getting obsessed about not feeling 
quirkiness, she accepted the meaning of it weird, she accepted my mental illness, and she just accepted my cleanliness. There was no question about how she felt about me, judging by what I liked and what I was as a person. Because of Anne, I met these people, I met the, all of these people, these amazing, wonderful people. Who, they were the first experience I ever had of someone liking me for who I was. I was someone that they accepted, they didn't have a problem, and it's never really occurred to them, what, 17 years later, what's on my iPod, or what jumper I'm wearing. 17 years on, Phil and Steve aren't bothered by those things. They don't care that I am bipolar with a stolen. To, to them, I'm just cat. I'm just Katerina. Looking for me, something that will give you a bit more hope, something that 